Well, delighted to have you. I'd like to start by talking about what we've learned about telemedicine uh, from the pandemic. What did COVID-19 show us about the value of telemedicine? Well, it really, during an otherwise very difficult time for the nation, for the world, and for healthcare, was an example of a shining success. In a very short period of time, we went from telemedicine and digital health being a very small portion of how we delivered care to in a matter of weeks being a way that we were delivering care to millions of patients uh, around the country. It, it um, really was a chance, uh, once the coverage got turned on, it really was a chance for physicians across multiple specialties, all across medicine, to really quickly figure out where it was best deployed, when we could use it best, and in which circumstances patients needed to come in in person. And I think as we talked to our patients, they really liked it. Um, they saw benefits far beyond just being able to avoid leaving the home because of COVID and achieve social distancing. It was a great way to improve access and convenience. Patients didn't have to be in cars or public transportation to get to offices. They missed less work. They had fewer issues with childcare in order to come to the, see their physician. We had patients in rural settings who don't have great access to physicians who got to see us more, more easily. So it really was a shining success story. So I'd like to ask first about primary care and then we'll talk about specialties, but I've heard in interviews doctors tell me it can be almost like doing a home visit and that you can see inside somebody's home if you're in telemedicine. But tell me, with primary care, is telehealth here to stay? Absolutely. I think it's going to be an integrated part of the way that we deliver care. There are obviously certain instances where it's really nice to have a patient in the office to be able to do a physical exam, to be able to have some in-person counseling. At the early stages of the pandemic, though, about 44% of all of Medicare's primary care visits were actually being done by virtual means. You mentioned getting to sort of look into somebody's living setting. I think as we think about disparities and all of the challenges our patients are facing with food insecurity and housing insecurity and other things that actually affect their health and the diseases that they have and that we manage, we had a lot of instances where actually getting to see somebody live in their home setting made a difference. If you're seeing a patient in primary care with diabetes, for example, and you're talking to them about their diet and what they're eating, they can literally carry their iPhone or their laptop over to their refrigerator and you can talk about the food that's right there in front of them and ways to maybe change their diet. So we saw a lot of examples uh, where actually it was useful to take a look right into those social determinants of health. 